Hello and welcome to Ruckasaurus Rex. Today we will be engaging in my first full-fledged review and uh, as promised from uh, the end of my uh, last review which was an overview of uh, PNSO theropods, tyrannosaurs in particular, I had stated that I did have another tyrannosaur to add to the collection and uh, that I would be reviewing it and here we are we've got uh, Lu Zhang the Zhu Cheng Tyrannus yes indeed this is part of the prehistoric animal line which is uh, a uh, line from PNSO that's uh, lower priced than their museum line even though the museum line and the prehistoric animal line are roughly the same scale for the most part uh, it's uh, good to uh, that they uh, still try to keep them in scale I'm very happy about that if you've watched my two initial videos I stated almost ad nauseum that I'm a stickler for uh, in scale accuracy when it comes to my dinosaur models and uh, since the, uh, the the very popular 135 scale is uh, the common one that's what I like to base my uh, dinosaur sizes on so uh, we'll see if uh, Lujan will uh, measure up and stand the test of the 135 scale so uh, what you see here is the uh, the box of uh, Lujan the Zhu Cheng Tyrannus he has a closed mouth version of uh, artwork uh, up there and uh, on the other side it's the same thing down below he's got uh, legalese and there's more same thing on the other side so that's uh, what we have there so um, enough about the box we will uh, get it opened up and see what we got uh, within checking out the contents in the box as is standard with all uh, PNSO prehistoric animal models, they come with a, uh, of an instructional booklet that uh, has uh, its educational loads of uh, information. Uh, they actually, meaning uh, PNSO, they cater to children, so a lot of the uh, contents in the booklet is uh, written as though they're speaking to children directly like this right here I am Lushong the Zhu Cheng Tyrannus but it also has beautiful artwork like you see here you get more of that and I mean it looks good their, their attention to detail with their mouths is crazy I mean that looks so imposing I mean you would think that that's a living animal and it's a photograph of one you know they've got more They've got the profile view of the entire animal right there. Bird's eye view. It's crazy. And here's a good one right here. This is an illustration of a feathered one. Now, we don't know if they had feathers or not because uh, any fossils found, they, they did not have any uh, uh, feather impressions left behind. So this is speculative at best, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, look at the tail because of the, the feather plumage on the tail the tail looks extra long But the tail probably ends somewhere around where my thumb is and then look how far uh, Along it continues to go because of the feathers. It's pretty cool. They've done that with Tyrannosaurus rexes before They've got uh, you see that right there. That is an illustration of the pieces of the skull that uh, have been found and uh, it, 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 you know, more than enough to uh, be able to categorize the, the ZT as a, as a Tyrannosaur and be able to actually get an idea, an impression of what the skull looked like. More of that artwork right there. And yeah, it just keeps going on, you know, so pretty good with the booklet. It also had within a poster and uh, opening this bad boy up. Let's see if I can get it far enough that you can actually see it in the shot. There it is, a, a pack or uh, I think uh, theropods, at least larger ones, they call them gangs when they're, you know, 
they all hunt like that and uh, you see uh, there's three of them and uh, they are feasting on a, uh, a corpse chances are it was a kill the three of them brought it down I, probably not a scavenge game and uh, so you see that right there pretty nice and uh, that's it for uh, what we get let's uh, check out uh, let's check out uh, Lu Zhang himself so here we have Lu Zhang our Zhu Cheng Tyrannus we've got him on a rotating platter so you can get a 360 degree view of the uh, model uh, to, uh, to just check him out from from all angles more or less at once and uh, as you can see this is definitely a tyrannosaur it has the uh, the standard build of a late Cretaceous tyrannosaur meaning it's a, a chunky boy uh, you can see uh, the head looks just like how tyrannosaurs look the uh, the symbolic small two clawed forearms the thick robust tail the chunky body definitely a tyrannosaur and like I said a late Cretaceous tyrannosaur because uh, Zhu Cheng Tyrannus is also a Chinese uh, dinosaur it uh, lived about oh, 73 million years ago in China and uh, that was around the same time as Tarbosaurus and uh, Zinchosaurus uh, uh, existed but um, and they were Chinese uh, Tyrannosaurs as well but China's a big place so they may have been alive uh, around the same time but they they were not in the same ecological systems uh, the uh, Zhu Cheng Tyrannus was at def def uh, different provinces and whatnot and uh, I know I butchered the names, so I'm not going to uh, insult you guys by even attempting or insulting uh, those respective places by even attempting to uh, pronounce their names. Just rest assured that uh, uh, Zhu Cheng Tyrannus existed in China, but in uh, totally different habitats than Tarbosaurs or uh, the Qsaurs. Um, so yeah, you have that. Uh, Zhu Cheng Tyrannus was uh, estimated to be uh, oh between up to about 38 feet long, which makes it uh, one of the largest tyrannosaurs. Uh, it was actually larger than Tarbosaurus by a foot or two, and um, yeah, Tarbosaurus came in right underneath, so. Uh, there was a time where Tarbosaurus was always being compared to Tyrannosaurus rex. Uh, if you recall, in my last video, I stated that uh, they compared it so much that uh, it was uh, once believed that Tarbosaurus was merely a Tyrannosaurus rex uh, just on another continent, different part of the world. But uh, they had enough uh, distinctions between the two that it, it was uh, worthy of it being its own species. And... Uh, the same uh, basically uh, has occurred with you know with uh, Zuchen Tyrannus. It was found, uh, uh, I believe, after Tarbosaurus was found, and uh, so it ended up taking uh, that title. I mean, Tarbosaurus is also one of the largest Tyrannosaurs as well. Um, like I stated before, they were just steadily getting bigger as the Cretaceous moved along and uh, you know topping out at um, about 40 almost 43 feet so all of these guys were big boys um, so uh, yeah a, a, a large full-grown Z Tyrannus was probably about 38 feet long probably on average they were 36 you know they and the Tarbosaurus were probably more or less neck and neck similar size so um, yeah anyway uh, Let's get uh, let's get uh, our boy off of the rotating platter and take a closer look, shall we? So here we have Lujong off of the uh, rotating platter. Got him static, and uh, like I said before, you can see he's just uh, like a I mean a late Cretaceous Tyrannosaur, chunky boy. Um, I tell you, it, that had to be some time to uh, be a prey animal. 
uh, throughout the world with all these uh, tyrannosaurs roaming around. I mean, these these fools are just absolutely ridiculous. Going back to Tarbosaurus, uh, Tarbosaurus uh, is translated to alarming lizard. And like I stated uh, the other day, you can see why. The same goes for uh, Lu Zhang here. His name, uh, Zhu Cheng Tyrannus, it basically means a Zhu Cheng uh, tyrant. Um, it's basically because that's where he was found, you know, so named after the area, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, so you can see um, all of the Tyrannosaur traits, like I said, moving him in this way. So you can see it uh, uh, right there. We'll get close up so we can really take a look at that skull. So here we are face to face, nose to nose with our Zhushang Tyrannus and uh, you can see uh, one thing I didn't mention at all uh, in either portions of my uh, overviews is that PNSO uh, they favor the uh, lipless look on their theropods and as you can see that's demonstrated here it's uh, it's been a bit of a polarizing controversial issue because you've got uh, there are some collectors, some dino fans that uh, they believe in lips. And of course, there are others uh, who don't. Um, me, I, I'm, uh, I'm of two minds about it. I'm cool either way, as long as the models look like they could be alive. That's what I like. I love the realism. That's why, that's why I'm really on PNSO these days because they, they their models look so realistic. It's just crazy. And, uh, the Zhu Chang Tyrannus is no different. I mean, look at him head on. You see, he's got the Tyrannosaur binocular vision. Look at the snout. There's uh, very little, very little shrink wrapping. You guys, if you're into uh, dino collecting, you know what I mean by the shrink wrapping. You look uh, up there, Vanessa and everything like that. You look at his eyes. I already stated he's got the binocular vision which is pretty cool. He's got the tilting him up. You see he's got a nice thick skull, typical of a uh, late Cretaceous uh, Tyrannosaur. He does come with an articulated jaw as is standard with PNSO's theropods. And uh, looking at those teeth, they're individually painted and they look good. You look inside the mouth. It's got the nice wet look. You've got to love that. You can see deep in there as well. Closing back up. If you, I don't know if you can actually see, but uh, PNSO even included ear canals, which I appreciate because, you know, everybody knows that uh, Tyrannosaurs have, of course, those crazy uh, bite force, that crazy bite force, and they, uh, we all know about. Uh, their great senses of smell, but um, they also had uh, very acute hearing as well. These critters were built to kill, built to track, built to hunt, built to find, and just, I mean, it's just crazy. They they are, without a doubt, uh, uh, if, if there's no such thing as the perfect killing machine, Tyrannosaurs were definitely close to it. For real. Once again, taking a look at that skull, it's just uh, absolutely crazy. I'm going to uh, start going down the body to look at the details. Look at the throat with the wrinkles there. You gotta love that. Uh, this model, his head is turned slightly to its left. So you can see the wrinkles trying to show that he is uh, turning that way I believe if we look on the other side you'll see that it's stretched so that's cool um, the uh, the scalation is very very fine you know that's not real big and bumpy but they're there you can see all that looking right there I'm getting ahead of myself because I should show off the arms first but I already got back here look at the uh, the musculature of the of the hind leg look at the skin the stretching right there uh that is just right there if you look back you see all of that this foot this uh, right foot is planted and you see the left foot you can see that uh 
our dyno was uh, is beginning to step off so you can see here the hind leg you see the stretching of the skin right there that's pretty cool now i'm going to move back up to the arms because i should have uh, addressed those at first you see how small uh its arms were i'd have to research because i believe that uh, zuchang tyrannus's arms are smaller than a tyrannosaurus rectus arms as well I, we know tarbosaurus was they might be around the same size scale for scale but um i'd have to check that out i should have uh, thought of that before i uh began uh taping this review taping i'm dating myself recording this review and uh underneath you see the soft underbelly going down here attention to detail by paying that so you can see right there that uh our dino's got a butthole uh colloquially called a cloaca you see more of the uh the stretching of the skin there it's just it's just so nice looking at the tail the paint job they striped up the tail it starts off nice thick muscular it's powerful and it just tape it tapers on down it's just cool the tail as is typical with most theropods is about half of the creature's overall length once again at the skull just look at that paint look at the crest on the head it's just cool look at the paint for those eyes you've got uh uh yellow yellow iris a uh, black poop pupil it's uh this is just uh this is a very nice uh uh a very nice uh paint job and uh a great model zoom back out I was remiss when I was uh, speaking on the contents within the box I forgot to mention that uh, the Zuchang Tyrannus as with all theropods comes with a stand to help balance it uh, in the event and eventuality of warping as you can see right now our boy stands perfectly on his own even with one uh, leg raised up so that's pretty cool so, uh, you know, giving you some angles, you see right there, other angle shot right there. That's a good, uh, a good look right there. We'll do the same thing, only we'll have his uh, mouth open. And that looks even better that way. I believe that was uh, one of the illustrations in the, in the booklet. Going back again. So yeah, this is uh, very nice very nice figure right here very nice figure so uh, let me back him up just a little bit so we can uh, get our uh, comparison on and of course we've got to compare him with his uh, Chinese brother or cousin as it were Chuanzi the Tarbosaurus and I have to make another apology because in my last review after starting off calling him Chauncey and then corrected myself and uh, referred to him as Chauncey with a Z uh, the rest of the review I kept referring to him as Ashu which is the name of the the kin uh, Chu uh, source and uh, I kept calling him that and once I re you know after I had uploaded it and I, I looked at the review myself I was like oh look at that so I didn't even have enough time to catch it and just you know put some text correcting myself so apologies for that but uh, here you can see uh, our Tarbosaurus with our Zuchang Tyrannus and uh, they scale great together uh, not perfect uh, as you can see and uh, that reminds me because I didn't give you guys measurements, but you can see right here that the Tarbosaurus, if you stretched out the tip, is just a little bit longer, which is technically cool because they don't have to be 100% full grown. And of course, our estimates are exactly that estimates. The uh, Zuchang Tyrannus, uh, the model, is uh, uh, measured in at uh, 12 and a quarter inches long and four and a half inches tall uh, and uh, if you go if you go by the 135th scale that would make uh, the Zuchang um, a little over 35 feet uh, it said that it's uh, more or less 32 to 30 132 to 138 scale so with those measurements uh, you get uh, at the uh, 132 scale and I know I'm going to end up getting this mixed up. Um, the 132 scale, I believe, 
uh, Zucheng Tyrannus came in at uh, 38 feet and the 138th scale he came in at 32 feet or I got them flipped some kind of way but you get what I'm saying you go by either of those if you if you if you go by one he'll be a full grown full grown Z Tyrannus and the other one he'd be uh, more or less a young adult sub adult and uh, but I'm of course going to go with the 135th scale and put him right smack in the middle almost 36 feet is good for me you know what I'm saying so you got that then removing Chauncey or Torvosaurus, I'm going to bring in the big boy himself, Wilson, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's see if I get him in there, move him back a little bit. And uh, these guys scale beautifully. I'm looking the long way, you see that uh, Wilson has got has got uh, Lujan definitely outclassed in the size department. Go the other way so you can just see. Move uh, our boy back a little bit. A little bit more so we can get his snout in there. Yeah, they, uh, I tell you boy, Tyrannosaurs, they look good. Uh, my favorite dinosaurs are theropods and of course amongst those are Tyrannosaurs as my absolute favorite dinosaurs and uh, I'm sure you can see why Let's see if I get them all in there so you can see that that looks pretty cool here's a front facing shot for us like I said these are uh, Probably, I can't think of other uh, Tyrannosaurs that are close to these guys' size. So I would say that these three are the largest Tyrannosaurs in the Tyrannosaur family. There are probably some that are rivaling in size, but they're just more obscure. And uh, as much as I'd like to know about all of them, um, and I could if I just, uh, you know, really studied, I don't. There are a few that I know of that we don't have models for. I don't think I've ever seen models for an Elioramus, which is uh, uh, related uh, to the uh, Quinchalsaurus. They both are those uh, narrow-snouted uh, Tyrannosaurs. And there are a few. You've got some that look similar, but lightlier, more lightly built than the three guys we've got here, like Displatosaurus, Gorgosaurus, Albertosaurus. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's great, and you know, those three were in the uh, middle Cretaceous period, and they all averaged around uh, 26 to 28, you know, 26 to 30 feet long, something like that. So they were they were still considered large um, predators, but uh, not like this. These are considered giant predators. So uh, yeah, there we have it. So in closing, about our uh, Zucheng Tyrannus, Lu Xiong, um, as I'm sure you can no doubt tell from um, my review that I'm gushing over this guy. Um, I think he looks good. PNSO has done it again. I love the paint apps. I know a lot of people have some issues with PNSOs. We'll call them rather drab paint apps. I don't simply because uh, if you look at um, animals today in the Wild Kingdom, most large animals are they're basically drab colored the bigger you get the duller the duller your skin the duller your complexion your fur what have you um and i think that's a byproduct uh, uh, you know nature's taking care of itself you know and uh some people want to see more color and uh, they'll they'll voice their uh, concerns and disdain but uh, the other thing is to me, it is counterproductive for predators to be colorful. They have to blend in so they can stalk without being seen. You know, they have the ability since they're great, they, you know, great sense of smell, most of them, they know how to be uh, downwind of um, their prey. So that way, when the wind uh, uh, blows, their prey, a lot, a lot of them have great sense of smell too, can't smell them. You know, so 
they do that, they also don't want to be seen. So being all colorful is not going to help. You know, so um, like I said, I'm cool with it. Uh, the uh, the Zucheng Tyrannus is in scale with uh, the vast majority of other 135th scale uh, models. Uh, the articulate jaw, the uh, lifelike appearance, the the attention to detail that uh, PNSO has uh, demonstrated once again, knock out of the park. And uh, let me give myself some props here. Do you guys like the little dio that I made? I made this uh, a couple weeks ago um, in, te in anticipation of uh, starting this channel. And I wanted to have something to uh, have the dinos uh, be displayed in when I close out the videos. And uh, I thought it looked good. Um, in person and I'm looking at it through my viewfinder and I can't from I'm patting myself on the back you guys can let me know tell me to calm down or not but I I'm, I'm loving what I've done here the great thing is um, uh, I've used a light glue for the trees so I could uh, rearrange them if I want to and I will at some point because it depends on what critter I'll be displaying on it um, it, uh, where the placement of the trees may not be accommodating to some animals and uh, well we'll see but right now this is what we have and uh, this is a uh, Lu Zhang our Zhu Chang Tyrannus from PNSO it is number uh, I believe it's number 58 yeah it's number 58 in the line and uh, yeah what more can I say new channel you guys please like especially if you did like or dislike whatever you want to do share please do that so more can uh can get on board and subscribe definitely would like for you to do that and comment whatever you want to say you got pointers on how i can improve on the videos if i've gotten some facts supposed facts wrong correct me we you know it's all about getting it right let me know how you feel and uh i thank all of you in advance who uh, are watching and do any of the uh the above that I've just uh, requested. Um, this is the Ruckasaurus Rex channel, and uh, thank you uh, guys for uh, being here with me. So until next time, take care.